What specific problem does the new method or algorithm aim to solve? The new method or algorithm aims to solve the problem of how transformer language models learn to process global associations differently than in-context inputs, and how truncating specific weights or layers, particularly feed-forward layers, can help improve performance on reasoning tasks. The method, called Layer Selective Rank Reduction, LASER, focuses on selectively replacing certain layer weights with their low-rank approximations to inhibit predictions of global associations and enhance in-context predictions. LASER aims to provide a finer understanding of how mechanisms arise during training, specifically how global associations can be localized to specific components or layers of the model weights. By studying the dynamics of training on pre-trained language models and controlled data models, LASER aims to disentangle global associations and in-context reasoning mechanisms in different parts of the model, ultimately leading to better predictions on reasoning tasks. How does the proposed method or algorithm work? Illustrate step by step. The proposed method, LASER, Layer Selective Rank Reduction, works by replacing certain layer weights in large language models, LLMs, with their low-rank approximations obtained through Singular Value Decomposition, SVD. The key steps of the algorithm are as follows. 1. Identify the weight matrices in the LLM that need to be reduced in rank for improved performance on reasoning tasks. 2. Conduct SVD on the identified weight matrices to obtain their low-rank approximations. 3. Replace the original weight matrices with their low-rank approximations in the model. 4. Experimentally determine the optimal parameters for conducting laser, such as the fraction row for rank reduction and the specific layers where laser should be applied. 5. Evaluate the model's performance on reasoning tasks before and after applying laser to observe the improvement in predicting contextually relevant tokens over generic words. 6. Analyze the impact of laser on the model's ability to inhibit predictions of global associations, thereby enhancing in-context predictions. 7. Study the training dynamics of the model to understand how global associations are learned earlier than complex reasoning, and how selectively removing certain components through laser can lead to better predictions in reasoning tasks. 8. Investigate how laser shifts the model's focus from predicting generic words to inferring answers from context, bridging the gap that appears during training. 9. Experimentally verify the effectiveness of laser on different models like GPT-2 Small and Pythia, tracking the model's behavior along training to observe the evolution of processing in context versus global associations. 10. Summarize the main experimental observations, including how laser helps inhibit predictions of global associations, leading to improved in-context predictions, and how global associations are learned earlier than complex reasoning during pre-training. By following these steps, laser selectively reduces the rank of certain layer weights in LLMs, thereby enhancing the model's performance on reasoning tasks by improving in-context predictions and reducing reliance on generic associations. What are the theoretical or practical benefits of using this method? The theoretical benefit of using the Layer Selective Rank Reduction laser method, as discussed in the paper, is that it helps inhibit predictions of global associations, such as generic words in large language models, LLMs. By selectively reducing the rank of certain weights in MLP matrices in specific layers of LLMs, Laser improves the model's performance on reasoning tasks by filtering out noise and focusing on in-context predictions. This method allows for a finer understanding of how mechanisms arise during training, localizing global associations to specific components or layers of the model weights. Practically, laser can lead to more reliable and accurate predictions in reasoning tasks, by enhancing the model's ability to focus on in-context information rather than generic associations. By conducting laser on weight matrices of MLPs in deep layers of LLMs, it can improve the model's performance on various reasoning benchmarks. The method has been empirically shown to help models move from predicting generic words to inferring answers from context, 
thus enhancing the overall capabilities of large language models in tasks that involve complex reasoning and logical processing from context. How is the method validated or tested? The method is validated or tested through empirical experiments and theoretical analysis. Empirically, the paper conducts experiments on different models and tasks, such as GPT-2 small and Pythia models on tasks like indirect object identification and factual recall. The experiments involve training models with noise and then evaluating their performance on tasks without noise to measure the impact of the noise and the effectiveness of the method. Additionally, the paper provides results from experiments on a two-layer transformer model on an in-context recall task with added global noise, showing how the model learns to store noise in feed-forward layers and how attention mechanisms filter out noise tokens. Theoretical analysis is also conducted to provide insights into the behavior of the models, such as studying the gradient dynamics near initialization to understand why feed-forward layers are more likely to capture global associations. The paper uses theoretical justifications and concentration bounds to explain the behavior observed in the experiments, providing a comprehensive validation of the method through a combination of empirical results and theoretical insights. What results were achieved with this new method? The new method achieved significant results in improving the performance of language models on reasoning tasks by selectively reducing the rank of certain layer weights. The study showed that by applying layer selective rank reduction laser on MLP weights in large language models, LLMs, the models were able to inhibit predictions of global associations, leading to better in-context predictions. Empirical investigations on GPT-2 small and Pythia models demonstrated that laser enhanced the model's performance on contextual tasks by decreasing the probability of predicting generic words and increasing the probability of predicting the ground truth answers. Additionally, the study on Pythia models showed that laser significantly improved the model's ability to predict the correct tokens over generic words, indicating a clear enhancement in reasoning capabilities. The research also provided theoretical justifications for the behavior observed during training, shedding light on how feed-forward layers store global associations and how attention mechanisms avoid attending to noise tokens. Overall, the new method showed promising results in enhancing the model's performance on reasoning tasks by effectively managing global associations and in-context predictions. What are the limitations or drawbacks of the method? The limitations or drawbacks of the method presented in the paper include the heavy simplification of the analysis, leaving many questions unanswered. The study is conducted on controlled settings, which may not fully capture the complexities of real-world data models. The analysis focuses on specific components like feed-forward layers and does not delve into the dynamics of other components like key query matrices in attention layers. The paper acknowledges that the study is limited in providing a detailed understanding of how training dynamics and truncation behaviors would manifest in more complex data models. Additionally, the method does not extensively explore whether global associations are stored in attention layers in broader contexts beyond the observed example in the provided appendix. The paper also does not offer a comprehensive examination of the training dynamics of stochastic gradient descent SGD, across all components throughout different training phases. What future work do the authors suggest? The authors suggest several directions for future work based on the findings in the paper. Firstly, they propose investigating the training dynamics and truncation behaviors in more complex data models to understand how LLMs differentiate between in-context and global associations in richer settings. Secondly, they raise the question of whether global associations are stored in attention layers rather than in MLPs in certain architectures, prompting a broader exploration into this phenomenon across different models. Lastly, they propose a more detailed study of the training dynamics of SGD, encompassing feed-forward layers, value matrices and key query matrices, 
throughout various training phases to gain a deeper understanding of how LLMs learn to process global associations and in-context inputs. These avenues for future research aim to further elucidate the mechanisms behind how LLMs handle different types of associations and improve reasoning capabilities.